I'm not sure at the time of your watching this video, but you can download Dreamfly for free using the link in the description below. It popped up in my discords on the house channel, which sometimes posts freebies to link with your Steam account. Dreamfly caught my attention ages ago on Reddit, and so I knew to download it ASAP. It's a sandbox game with no goals, and you are a bird. Flap your arms to lift off, and hold your arms out to glide. Right away you'll notice that the gameplay is not as intuitive as you were expecting. There's no tutorial and you'll either become impatient and quit, or keep at it and learn. In my case I kept at it and became somewhat proficient at flying. The angle of your controllers matter the most when it comes to guiding yourself. Rotate them backwards to go up, or forwards to go down. Or only angle one to turn, or angle both in opposite directions to do a barrel roll. Momentum is everything. I haven't quite figured out the key to getting momentum every time, but flying becomes a breeze when you do get it. Don't get too comfortable though, because the slightest unconscious turn of your wrist can throw your path off and send you into the ground. Despite its poor frame rate, map graphic fidelity, and lack of objectives, it's pretty fun to fly around once you get the hang of it. The map is gigantic, but there's not much reason to explore it, as most of the map looks pretty much the same. Flying over water seemed to be nearly impossible, but I managed to make it over to the giant planet things. I didn't think I would be able to get so high, but I tried climbing anyway. It turns out the planets have their own gravitational pull, which makes them both easier and harder to climb. I did make it to the very top, which is underwhelming for how much effort it took. But it was fun full sending straight back down to the ground. So far down that I went through the floor and under the map. It's not a perfect game, and if you are even the slightest bit prone to motion sickness, you'll want to stay clear away from it. If you're a thrill junkie like me who welcomes stomach boiling rides, you'll probably get a kick out of it. I really can't rate this one because it doesn't seem much like a game, but I did find it interesting. Thanks for watching, and peace.